Hi guys. Uh, one of my patrons was wondering uh, about a workflow for painting out uh, artifacts in Substance Painter. So I'm recording this quick tutorial to show you the, the process that I use to paint out any bad stuff. Okay, I loaded my low poly sphere. My high poly is intentionally messed up so I can create artifacts. Uh, bake textures. Set it to 1K, and I'm adding my high poly test. Okay, so bake. All right, so you can see you have uh, you have some bad circles here. So I'm gonna create a fill layer and I'll look for my normal map. Here it is. Uh, drag it into a normal slot. And I guess first thing I'm going to show you before I do this. So uh, there's a normal mixing option here and by default it's set to combine. If I set it to replace, you can see it, uh, your normal uh, information disappears. But then if you create a fill layer and put your normal normal map in and enable it, it basically overrides your normal map that you would normally have in here. So now if I create white mask and add a paint to it, now I can paint out all my details or all my artifacts rather. I don't want any of these. Maybe I'll leave just one. Okay. And in here, notice if I try to paint, like I can't add a normal map, map here, all this layer does is that it paints out the existing one. So if I create a new fill, and this one is gonna be, it's not going to be normal map, it's going to be height. And uh, I'll add a black mask. And uh, let's grab like an alpha of some kind. Based our new information here. We can adjust which way you want to have it. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna add a little bit of a, a blur just so later when I show the uh, show it in action, it's a little bit more obvious. Okay, here we go. So now we have uh, a model we are happy with. So I'm going to export the normal map. Here I created a preset uh, normal map only. So what I did, oh, let me recreate it. So I just click new preset, call it normal map. RGB. And here I grab the converted maps, uh, OpenGL or DirectX, uh, depending on which uh, software you're using. I'm just grabbing OpenGL. Uh, okay, all good. Choosing my preset and export. If I go to textures. And I'm gonna bring in my bring it in. And now I'm gonna plug it into my normal map to replace the existing one. So at this point uh, you don't really need any of this stuff because you 
No, you, you have an actual normal map. Uh, so I'm gonna get rid of all this. And I'm setting my normal mixing back to combine. Okay, excellent. So this is all good and great, but if I let's let's add some dirt to our model. Hmm. Sand. You can see it's still applying the effects to the original uh, original bake. Because all the other maps, like world space, curvature, and uh, ambient occlusion and thickness, are still using the old geometry information. So what we want to do is go back to our bake textures, and I'll disable my normal here, and let's bake again. Now, if I look at uh, one of the maps that I just rebaked, it actually used the normal that I brought into Substance Painter uh, to create all these other maps. Other than thickness, we don't really need it as much. So now if I enable my, my effect, you can see it works properly with uh, uh, my hand painted detail. There's a little bit issue here. Um, it looks like it's coming from ambient occlusion. Let's look at our ambient. Yeah, it's still using the old one. So let's try again. Um, ambient occlusion. Interesting. <laughs> Not quite what I want. So the problem is uh, because the geometry, we have a ge high definition mesh in here, it basically overrides the normal map for AO. So if I remove it and go here, have it at default and just press bake. Now you can see I have my ambient occlusion properly baked. It's faint, but it's there. Um, if I hide the... Actually, I'll just... Uh, use a... It's hard to see, but... Okay, I hope this helped and thanks for watching. For more cool tutorials and tips, check out my Patreon page, Game Dev uh, The Pipeline. Thank you.